Today, I'm sharing a samba paste recipe that can be prepped in advance. When kept in the fridge, it will last two to three weeks, and if frozen, up to three months. This recipe yields about one kilograms of samba paste. The ingredients needed are five pieces of red chili, 60 grams of lemongrass, 250 grams of red onions, 75 grams of garlic, 250 grams of shallots, 2 tablespoons of shrimp paste or belajan, 1.5 tablespoon of dry shrimp, wash and soak in the hot water for 1 minute, 1 teaspoon of salt, 30 grams of ginger, 35 grams of young galangal. If using old galangal, use only 20 grams. 20 grams of turmeric, 6 pieces of candy nut or boa grass. 175 grams of blended guajillo chili. This chili is not spicy and give a lovely deep red color. 150 grams of blended dry chili. This is made from spicy dry chili. The recipe of blended chili paste is shared in the see more link. 600 ml of water. Half cup of tamarind water, one and a half tablespoon of sugar, and five tablespoon of cooking oil. The full list of the ingredients and the measurements are in the see more link. This sambar is not very salty, as the taste can be adjusted when cooking with meat, seafood, or vegetable later on. These are the ingredients to be blended. They have been washed and cleaned. Some of them are too big for blending, so chop them up into smaller pieces. Chop the ginger and the young galangal the candy nut can be added whole for the turmeric to prevent staining the hand and chopping board the skin is not removed chop it into few pieces and lemongrass Put these ingredients in the same bowl and set aside. Next, cut the red chili into small pieces. Red onions. And the large shallots. If using smaller shallots, they can be blended whole. All these ingredients have been prepared, but there are too many to blend at once. So, blend them in stages. Start with lemongrass and the rest of the first bowl. Dry shrimp and belacan. Add 100 ml of water as it's too dry to blend properly. Blend them for 1 minute. Add 100 ml of water. Continue to blend for 20 seconds. Alright, now the mixture is really fine. Add in the garlic and the red chili. Cover the blender and continue to blend for 45 seconds or until paste is very fine. Okay, this is good. Add in 150ml of water and both chili paste. Blend for about 30 seconds or until well combined. Alright, this is done. See, the sambal is very fine and well blended. Take it out from the blender and put in a large mixing bowl. There is a little left in the blender which is okay. Add in all the shallots, onions, and 200 ml of water. Cover the blender and blend for 40 seconds or until very fine. Alright, this is ready. Mix it together with the first blender's mixture. Add in the sugar, salt, and tamarind water. Continue to stir and mix until well combined. Let's cook it. Heat the pan. Add in all cooking oil and the sambal mixture. While the oil is still cool, if the oil is hot, adding the mixture will result in massive oil splash and is dangerous. 
bring it to boil for two to three minutes. Once sambal is boiling, a lot of bubbles are created and it tends to splatter as well. Continuously stir until sambal is dry up and cooked. With this amount of sambal, it will take around 15 minutes to one hour. If there is a lesser amount, the cooking time will be shorter accordingly. After 10 minutes, the sambal is boiling and still very watery. After 20 minutes, the volume has reduced a little, but it is still watery. After 30 minutes, it has become slightly dry, but the consistency is too thin. After 40 minutes, the volume has reduced to half. The consistency is still too thin even though the sambal is thicker now. After 50 minutes, the volume has reduced to only one third of the original amount. The consistency is like a thick paste and is perfect. It is now ready. Switch off the heat. See, the consistency of the sambal paste is perfect. This is what it should look like. Leave it in the pan to cool down. After 2 hours, the sambal has cooled down completely. Portion it out to store in a clean airtight container. This can last up to 2 to 3 weeks in the fridge or up to 3 months if keep frozen. This is 420 grams, 320 grams and 270 grams. Add some detail for future cooking. This sambal will be great with meat, seafood and vegetable. Stay tuned for more recipe of homemade sambal. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is home cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.